Hello everyone, it's Chelsea from Paper Rock Tier Studio and today I'm sharing with you my March pages for the Facebook group My Life 2017. The theme for this month is trash and make it pretty and so I had done some jelly printing which you would have saw the day before yesterday on uh, um, deli paper that I would have been throwing away otherwise just to make it pretty and I also used some pieces of trash to make marks on the plate. So now you'll see how I finished my March pages. Uh, first I'm doing the, the uh, uh, back side of the main page on February and this piece is a deli paper that was already printed with green checkers that I saved from an Italian restaurant that I visited oh, a couple weeks ago. I thought it was pretty. It was what was in the basket with the garlic bread and I just tore off the piece that wasn't greasy and saved it. And then that little uh, brown paper sack is from Chili's restaurant. That's what they put their uh, silverware and napkin in for your place settings. It comes in a little bag and I just thought it was cute so I saved it. And then the thing I put over the top is from some flowers that my friend sent me for my birthday. And inside they had a little box of chocolates. And so I thought that would make a really cute pocket. Um, the, the bag would make a really cute pocket for a tag, which I'll finish later in the week. I hadn't, haven't made one this, this month. It'll be a, a tags from the desk. You know, that series that I do sometimes using all this the stuff that's left over on my desk. Um, there's constantly a basket full of little scraps and bits and bobs of things. So I will finish that tag uh, in a couple days. So then I had lost the little March paper, so I had to print a new one. And it's a little bit bigger than the other ones. But I just am backing that with some of the Jelly Deli. <laughs> jelly Belly Deli that I printed a couple days ago and putting that down on the page and then that's the ATC card that that thing that has the flower on it is the ATC card that I made for pick a stick challenge this month and I've just kind of been saving tags and ATCs and things like that that I make during the month just to, I throw them in the book and then as I look through this book you know at the end of the year or whatever I'll be able to see some of the things that I made during the month. So that's kind of what I've been doing. So I'm taking some archival ink and an ink blending tool and just edging the whole page with some green. Um, March to me, uh, it's my birthday month and it's also the, the spring, you know, the spring equinox, the beginning of spring usually happens in March. Um, and then, of course, St. Patrick's Day is always fun. And so I'm going to be doing flowers and things like that. I marked St. Patrick's Day on the, the calendar with that little heart. And I also used the heart to make some shamrocks around the top of the page there using that same archival ink. And then I'm just making some white highlight sketch scribbly sketchy lines around the little shamrocks as well and that this side of my page is usually it's it's the back of the previous one you know as you flip through and it's just usually kind of a a conglomeration of things that I put on I might not have even showed you some of the other ones that I did but um, that's kind of how I'm doing it. I'm putting a little calendar and then marking any dates on the calendar that might be important. And then usually adding a tag and an ATC or something else that I might have made that would be small to put on the page. And then the other page will be my main page and you'll be seeing me making that in a second. So to cover up the brand at the top of that cute little tag that came off the candies that came with my flowers. <laughs> I just put uh, an old um, postage stamp with a flower on it and then that's a little tiny tiny punch out of a butterfly that came in happy mail. 
from somebody. I think it, I don't remember. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> the next thing I'm going to do is I'm using some of these uh, gel print on deli paper pieces that I made when I was messing around with all my junky deli paper that's left over from my underneath my pieces when I do something on my desk on in video. I printed those using mark making tools that were made out of trash and so that video will be linked above in the in the iCard so that you can go back and look at it if you haven't already seen it if you're interested in seeing it. It's fun to make mark making tools for jelly printing with trash. Just, you know, the simplest things like bubble wrap that's, you know, come in a package is great for making marks and all types of paper tubes and things like that is just, it's just fun. It's just something that's really fun to do. So this whole stack was left over from that and I'll use it for other projects. Obviously, I'm not going to use it all up on this page, but I'm just taking torn pieces of it, collaging it all over my page. And I'm using the glossy collage podge because that was on my desk. I don't really usually like glossy glue, but it was fine. I knew what I was going to be doing, so I wasn't too worried that it was glossy. It didn't really matter and it was that sitting on my desk and so that's what I used and I'm just applying it to the page and by the way this is 140 pound uh, cold pressed watercolor paper that I made these pages for this album out of and it's just all attached with uh, d-ring little things you know and it'll get pretty fat by the end of the year but I've really only been making one page I mean two pages but like a two page spread using the previous month's back side for each month because I just I'm I'm committed to so many different groups and so many different things that I don't do every project that this group has if something sounds fun or I have time I do it um, I enjoy doing the little uh, pictures and I did do that one month, but then I haven't been able to do it any other time. They, they give you a picture and then you make something. And I was making ATCs. Didn't have time to do any more of those yet. And I glued those in previously. But um, yeah, they, ha they do a lot of stuff over in that group. <laughs> There's several uh, YouTube creator artists in that group. And each one has a week during the month to do several different things that they offer and so I will be sure to put the link to the group that you can go ask to join if you haven't joined it in my description box below the video if you want to join my life 2017 it's a fun group lots of fun things going on I just don't have time to do every single thing that there is because I have other groups and other responsibilities if you know what I mean so I will be making a book of the entire year it just won't have every single project that they offer <laughs> sorry about that guys but that's the way it is so I'm just continuing to glue down little pieces of this paper and once I'm done with that I'll give it a good dry with the heat tool and then move on to the next step and this is my background this is just a real randomly fun colored spring colored background so then I just took a stencil and some more dilutions paints. This whole thing was done with dilutions paints because um, I had some new colors that I wanted to try out. That's not a new color, however. That's the grape purple color. And I'm just adding more pattern to the background by just doing a tiny bit of stenciling. I mean, I could have went on and on. I could have done stamping. I could have done some scribble writing. I could have done all kinds of things to create more craziness on this background um, and if I was doing this as maybe a canvas or something I might have done that you know went, got really really involved but I basically just wanted to have a fun bright background that didn't take me uh, two, two hours <laughs> if you know what I mean I could have added, added some patterned napkins or some patterned tissue paper you know all kinds of things could be done with this but 
I made it a little bit more simple than that. So I'm also adding some branches and leaves in the background. This is all about spring, all about how everything wakes up in March and starts to bloom. Leaves come back on the trees, you know, that type of stuff. Then to add in, so back in some white, because I basically covered everything, I just used a white Posca pen, <coughs> excuse me, to just do like scribbling around some of the stenciling. Not fancy, not careful, just really quick. Just adding more pattern. I just wanted to add some, some white back in because I tend to cover up every single speck of white there is and then think to myself, huh, should have probably left some of that white. <laughs> so then this is my China marker. It's kind of a grease pencil and I'm just making a very loose, very uh, painterly sketch. This is not the best illustration I've ever done in my life. It's just fun and quick and um, organic. I, I didn't want to do like a crazy detailed illustration. That wasn't the point of this. I wanted to do something fun and quick. So I drew a little table and a vase and a teacup on the table and then I'm putting flowers in the vase and this is a representative of the flowers that my best friend sent me for my birthday. She sent me a tall narrow uh, tin can type of a it's it's not a tin can as in cylindrical because it's narrow at the bottom and up and goes up you know at an angle but it's designed to look like maybe like a bucket like a tin bucket and that's the vase that came with the flowers and then it had irises and tulips and I really enjoyed that bouquet of flowers I enjoyed sitting um, outside on our patio because spring has come here and it's it's warm it's you know yesterday it was in the 80s so um, take my morning tea and go out to the patio and take my little flowers out there and sit and look at the flowers because there's not that many blooming yet. Um, some of our other plants, obviously the succulents are green and some of the other plants are starting to bloom. And the jasmine that is like a climbing jasmine that we have on the side of the house smells wonderful right now. It smells so good. So I just like to sit out there in the morning and that's what this page is representing. So I kind of started to exclude on my background but then I just I hadn't finished my drawing I just um, got distracted <laughs> I might have used something else to draw this maybe because it was a little bit hard to see so maybe I should have drawn it with white or something but I didn't so in a couple times I made a few little mistakes as I was filling in the background so this is what I call exclusion I don't know what other people call it but basically excluding the background around your drawing and the reason that I like it is because although I do exclude the background with some white and also a little bit of teal and blue colors it doesn't completely obscure the background The I, I mix a little bit of water with the acrylic paint just a tiny bit of water and it helps it flow more on my brush and also makes it just slightly transparent so you can still see the colors and pattern in the background through the paint but yet you get the image coming forward and you see the vase and the coffee cup and the table as the, the focal image so I really enjoy this technique I think it's very um, it looks very artistic uh, looks like you maybe tried real hard you know to make something a painting or something but yet it's a simple very simple thing that anyone can do so I enjoy it immensely and it's a great way to use your jelly prints you just can put your jelly prints in the background you know a lot of people are like oh well I have this gel plate and I have made some prints but I don't know what to do with them this is a great thing to do with them to use them as a background and then do a technique like this over the top 
it's fun too really fun I enjoy this immensely I need to do it some more I haven't done it in a while <laughs> I was like oh I should do that yeah so you can see a couple times where I had to wipe back the paint but since the whole background has been collaged and it's been covered with that collage podge glue it's it's non-porous so while the paint is wet I can wipe off if I make a mistake if I put the paint where it shouldn't be as I'm filling in this background because you remember I can't see the, the, the drawing very well so I did make a couple mistakes but I just used a baby wipe wiped it right back off and then went back in and redid it the way it should be so it was fun I had a really good time making this project and I recommend it so once you've done your detail filling in with a brush you can just use your finger and apply the paint in the larger areas um, it's a lot quicker than doing it with a paintbrush and it's also you get that feel of the paint on your fingers which is always really fun so and I'm blending in that uh, PBO green blue and the white and then a little bit of the uh, I don't remember what blue that is, but it's just a, using a little bit of it too, just to blend in and make the background more interesting. Lots of fun, people. Lots of fun. If you're enjoying this video, please remember to uh, leave me a comment, thumbs up, um, you know, subscribe if you haven't already, and turn on that little notification bell thing so that you can be notified when I put out a new video every other day or every third day usually every other day and I like the comments I like to hear what you think about my projects and I like to know who is watching you know who my fans are who's watching and if you leave a comment then that the thumbs up is awesome but if you leave a comment I know who you are I know who has been watching a lot of my videos and it's it's fun to see when somebody watches several of the videos and leaves comments on each one like they uh, had a little video marathon with my videos that's always fun <laughs> I like to see that and a few people have been doing that lately they, I think they're new to my channel and then they just kind of go back and watch a couple other things from you know the over 240 videos that are on my channel now so that's fun I like to see that so the next thing I'm doing is I have a Stabilo all pencil which is a water soluble pencil that it's it's highly reactive to water and I'm going and drawing lines drawing lines back in basically of my little illustration I didn't think it stood out quite enough from the background it wasn't stark enough and the lines weren't straight enough and so I did that and then I'm using my water barrel brush that's a type of a brush that has synthetic bristles and water inside the barrel and I'm activating that and adding that is adding a shadow a little bit of a shadow around everything and if I get too much uh, water and it starts to really bleed out I just blot it with my mostly dry baby wipe there I like the way that turned out it's looks it almost looks like a crayon drawing or something it's it's cool I just really like the look of this type of a style there's an artist that I've seen a few pieces of theirs on Pinterest and I can't tell you who it is but I really enjoy their pieces and it seems to be in collage a lot of times and then also have kind of a a scratchy crayon look around it and I I think that this this one looks quite a bit like that person not exactly the same because obviously it's my drawing style is different but a similar a similar look to that person so of course my Pinterest uh, boards are you know places you can find me Pinterest is one of them down below the video there's a whole list of places you can find me my Facebook my Instagram all that stuff my Twitter all those things so 
you can you can click on those and then if you look on my Pinterest in a board that I call for inspiration you'll probably see some pieces from that artist whoever it is sorry <laughs> I doubt they're watching this but if they are sorry <laughs> you know who you are <laughs> I don't sorry <laughs> that's so terrible I just I can't keep people's their names in my head it's like if I don't personally know them and interact with them I can't keep their name in my head it's it's terrible 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 so then the next thing I did uh, was to add some white highlights real scribbly with my white Posca pen and then to take some of my brighter color Posca pens and just, if you just shake them, just flick them, the, the splatter will come out of the ends. And so I did that and add, added some bright colors splatter onto my page because it's cool. And then after drawing that, I just quickly wrote trash and make it pretty, which is the theme for the month. And then March 2017. And that is it for this page. I put it back in my book along with the other page that I did at the beginning. And I believe your close-ups are coming. So that's it for me. Thanks. Bye-bye. <music>